Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce Mr. Jimmy Boyd. James, welcome. Hi, Dick. Thank you. Did I, um, did I ever interview you when you were a child? I think you did when I come to Philadelphia, when I was about 11 years old. Yeah, this scares me because he did a thing called I Saw Mommy Kissing Santa Claus, and he's grown since then, as you can see. How many series have you been in? Uh, about three or four now. I seem to cancel them. I don't know what it is. <laughs> no, not that. He's been in many successful series. But there is one question. In between working, and I'm going to put it in the crudest possible way, what goes through the heart of an out-of-work actor? Well, um, mainly, where are you going to eat next? Is it, is it that rough sometimes? <laughs> well, it all depends on what you just come out of. For instance, you do a series like I did, like Bachelor Father, for a while, and you play a kid who's sort of a stumbling always in everybody's way. But when the show is over, it seems like everybody then is looking for a part for you for a stumbling kid. You never seem to grow up. In All right, let, let's, let's change to the current thing because he's in one of the biggest hits of the year, a thing called Broadside on ABC here every, uh, is it Sunday night at 8.30? Sunday night at 8.30. I got my lines right now. From a stumbling kid, what do you play now? A stumbling grown-up. <laughs> <laughs> no. uh, it's, it's pretty much true, though, yeah. isn't it? Yes, it's... It, I almost got back into doing the same thing. I play a, a sailor who accidentally gets assigned to the waves. That's, That's not bad duty, you know that. <laughs> uh, you have to be there. Wh what is the premise? I, I talked to uh, Kathy about it one day. Is it something like 10,000 guys for every four women or something? Well, it's, uh, it's sort of a, an island during the war on, in the Pacific that has 18,000 men or 1,800 men. I don't remember how many exactly. And they send a, a little detachment of five waves into the island as an experiment. And my name being Marion Botnick, <laughs> somehow it gets mixed up in the Pentagon and they send me as a wave. This has got to be wild. If you haven't seen it, by all means, catch it Sunday nights on ABC. I will turn to the subject at hand because this is primarily a music show. Are you making records? Yes, I have a new one. I should have brought it down here, except a very unfortunate thing happened. I they, didn't, they didn't press it. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't make it. <laughs> no, no I, we did it and I was out of town when they put the master on and they left the violin section off. So if you see 15 violins around town tomorrow, <laughs> <laughs> well, it should be. You'll get it to us by Monday, I trust. I so. What's it called? It's called All Alone. Jimmy, we'll look forward to it. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Bye -bye. We'll see you on Broadside in the meantime. Mr. Jimmy Boyd, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>